is it okay to say the Jaguar is a crap console? No, I don't actually think it is. Um, it is a flawed console, and the software is crap. That's ultimately what it is. They they should have put in a bit more effort because there are some hardware bugs. The the processing pipelines and things. There, there are some things that they did wrong on it that really crippled it and slow it down a lot and that's a shame. But there are software workarounds and if the developers had actually learned those things they could have done really really good things with the um, Jaguar. But ultimately they didn't. The software is truly truly diabolical. Um, the only game on it I would really spend any time playing is Tempest 2000 and uh, that's about it yeah uh, Shen, uh, Shenmue 3 do you know what I don't know anything about it and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right Shenmue, Shenmue, whatever Shenmue 3, myth or reality, couldn't tell you, not a clue I, I know it's a Dreamcast, 1 and 2 are on the Dreamcast, some kind of role play thing I don't really do role play I'm oblivious, sorry, can't answer that. Um, though I did say I would make up answers, so I will say that there is one genuine copy on the other side of Mars. Um, get your spaceship. Um. Lat Marsian. That is an interesting name. I mean that in a good way. I'm not, I would never take the piss out of anyone's names on here. Sorry, I'm reading your questions if I'm looking distracted. Um, worst weather I've ever had to go through. That's a good one. I tell you what, I know the worst weather my wife ever had to go to. Do you know the floods they had in Sheffield? Was it a year ago, two years ago? She was in stuck driving through those floods um, when that dam was going to burst and everything. Just like it's just up above this power station, they've got a bloody great big reservoir, and the dam was going to burst. And there she is in Sheffield trying to get home. But no, the worst weather I've ever had to go through was in 1986 I think it was 86 or 87 it was winter we had a blizzard I worked in Newport Pagnell yes that place with all those wonderful services and Aston Martin yeah so I worked there and I lived in a little village called Dean's Hanger which was about 10 miles away and to get to Newport Pagnell from Dean's Hanger I had to walk two miles across country to get to Stony Stratford to get a bus to Newport Pagnell. So this morning, this winter morning of, of um, 1986, we had a blizzard and the snow crossing the fields was up to my thighs and it took me about three hours to get from Dean Tanger to Stony Stratford and then another two hours to get by bus from Stony Stratford to Newport Pagnell only to find that most of the people I worked with hadn't actually managed to get to work at all anyway yeah definitely that was the worst and I loved it <laughs> I, re I like challenging weather I, uh, something about it I find it exciting who is my favourite sportsman or woman my favourite well there's a question actually are we talking alive or dead my ultimate sporting hero is Ayrton Senna he is very dead there are only two celebrities I've ever cried when they died and he was one of them and that chokes me up just thinking about it now um, living well it's going to be another Grand Prix driver isn't it because I don't, I don't care about any other sport really um, well that's a thing isn't it I think Lewis Hamilton is a better driver than Jensen Button by a long way but I also think Lewis Hamilton is an arrogant pig so I'm going to say Jensen Button last song you listened to on the radio and can I sing it no I bloody well can't sing it actually I don't know I don't listen to the radio ever um, it will have been in my wife's car she'll have been driving she'll have put the radio on I couldn't tell you. Haven't got a cl clue. Speaking of, she's just got home, so I'd better go downstairs. Where was I? Uh, why aren't there any good sci-fi series on TV? I don't know. Um, 
because TV sucks. I like Fringe. I don't know if that's sci-fi. I like Flash Forward. I don't know if that's sci-fi. They're kind of both a little bit almost nah. The last fantastic sci-fi was Battlestar Galactica. I loved that. Awesome. Haven't seen the last two series, which is kind of crap. Um, no. Saw Series 4. Haven't got it on DVD. Completely missed Series 5. Haven't got that on DVD. Want to get those eventually. But um, Yes. Doctor Who. That's awesome. That's sci-fi. Fantastic. So, um... Sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> there is some good sci-fi. I mean, uh, uh, we need Babylon 5. They need to remake it with decent effects. That would be good. And they are apparently remaking Blake 7. Now, that will be interesting. I hope they don't cock it up, because I love the original Blake 7. I think it's fantastic. Um, do you know what's at the end of a rainbow? No. <laughs> <laughs> Does that answer your question? No, I don't. I mean, I could give you the technical answer. Absolutely bugger all. It's water reflect light refracting through water. Or there might be a leprechaun with a pot of gold. What's the last line of the last book you've read? That is a good question. And the answer is good as well. To put it another way, the game never ends. I'm not going to tell you what the book is find out. Yeah, that's your challenge for the month, or week, or year, or lifetime. Yes. Next! <clears throat> I'm scrolling the wrong way because I am stupid. Marlin Lee! How much wood would a wood... There, there. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Dunno. Um... Any systems I plan on adding to my collection anytime soon? Anytime soon, no. I'm broke. I can't afford anything at all. Um, in the future, yes. Um, I want an original Atari 800. I would like a 400. I want a functioning Color Genie. Um, I want an Acorn Atom. Um, I want a Computer's Lynx. I want a Memotech SV318. I don't know why I'm counting on my fingers because it just goes round and round and I don't actually keep track anyway. Um, there was something else. I want a Research Machines Link 480Z. I would like, yes, and this, this is your other, any that I would like but don't expect to ever get, yes, an Apple Bandai Pippin. Um, Gamester 81's got one of them and I don't know who he had to kill to get it because <laughs> they're like gold dust yeah I, I want more computers than I want consoles um, I like con I play on consoles more but in terms of collecting I'm much more interested in the computers um, don't know why. And the 8-bit ones mainly as well. I find 8-bit computers really, really interesting, even though in terms of playing with them, I play with them far less. No logic involved in that at all. Uh, it's pure nostalgia, I think. Yeah. Wheat grainer. I'm looking past my camera strap to see what you've asked. How good do you think your videos will be in the future? Marginally better than they are now, though not much. Um... I like the rough and ready, slap it all together, don't bother scripting it, and just blurt out a whole load of crap style. Um, Editing-wise, they may get a little bit better. Um, you know, sooner or later I'll get a better camera, sooner or later I'll get better editing software, but I'm not in any hurry. I'm quite happy with it where it is now. I do think my videos are vastly better now than they were when I started. I look back at them and think, oh, that was pretty crap. I, I wasn't talking much, and what I was saying wasn't interesting. The video quality was piss poor, they were too short, there were no titles, intros, anything, and frankly they were pretty <laughs> rubbish. But, you know, you got to start somewhere. But I don't think they're going to get an awful lot different from where they're at now. Um, I like the rough and ready, just say what comes off the top of my head thing. I don't want to be scripting or anything like that. 
because um, that's not what I do. Um, what consoles do you think you will get in the future? In terms of retro consoles, not many. Whatever is the latest console, like when the PS3 gets replaced with its next one, yeah, I'll get one of them. Um, but in terms of retro consoles, well, like I said earlier, I'd, I'd love to get an Apple Bandai Pippin, but they're gold dust, and there's not much else. I mean, some of those rare things, like Games for 81 has got, he's got some incredibly rare stuff, and I look at them and think, that's cool. Do I expect to get any? No, not really.